Hello everyone, Bill Bacardi. Hopefully everybody's well. It's Sunday evening and I want to say I hope everybody has a great Memorial Day tomorrow, guys. Uh, as you can see, I got a lock in the vise already. And this is That Savage by Big Al. Um, you can see how deep of a false set it's in right now, guys. Here, I'll move it over to you as I got a key hanging on it just to keep some tension on it. Let's see. Yeah, you can see that's pretty far, I think. <clears throat> it took me 35 minutes to get it to this position, guys. So I'm going to pick on it for another 10 minutes. Try and get it open. If it opens, we'll gut it. If we can get it open in 8 to 10 minutes, we'll gut it. I'll show what's in it. I did get this lock open this morning. Now, I'm not one to pick on off-camera, guys. If you send me a challenge lock, I try and get it on camera the way that I film it. I don't edit film. I don't do any of that stuff. I don't even know how to do it. I don't have that stuff in my phone to do it. I do it very simply. I do it on my phone. I either upload straight to YouTube or I upload it to my iPad. And from my iPad, I send it to YouTube. But yeah, this is a very tough lock, guys. And as I said, I did get this open this morning. Okay, three gives me a little counter there. And I've set three before and... That might be two. I've set three before, and it overset me really bad. Let's see if anything else is talking back here. Two and three are talking. You know what? I might be pushing on two, though, when I push three. Nothing on four. And I can't get under five. There, okay. Okay, so when you slide under five, it gives you a little bit more turn on that core. It's coming way, way, way back. Oh, okay. That was definitely a nice set. And that was number three. Now I can't get back under five. I'm hoping I can get under five. And it will give me that little set again. I got to be hooked on a T-pin here. So I did get this open this morning. And I started to say I don't pick off camera, guys. But this lock has just been hell. <laughs> I tried to put it on camera 15 times. And just ended up shutting the video off because I still got to keep them under 15 minutes or they upload upside down. And then I got to send them to my, if, if it's over 15 minutes, I got to send it to my nephew. Got to get nothing from nobody now. Uh, I'm lost with this lock right now. <laughs> but I gave my word that I will get this lock open on camera, guys. And I promise you I will. I get nothing from nobody. That false set is so... That was just me sliding off the pin. So, so deep. Ah. I'm itching all over. <laughs> but hopefully, like I said, we can get this open in 8 or 10 minutes from where it's at. I Nobody wanted to watch 35 minutes of me getting it to hear where it's at, guys. I can't imagine... Big Al said he didn't put much in this lock. Okay, something just fell because now it's really hard to get under number three. Okay, that's not counter. That's me twisting the lock. Okay, I got a nice click of five that time. But it didn't do what it normally did in last time where it gave me a little more turn on that core. I'm wondering if three isn't set, and it was just a good pop that it gave me. Ah. And Suncoast Picker, I'm going to give you the weather report. It is damn hot here. <laughs> I'm going to counter-rotate this just a little bit to see if I can get that five to move a little bit. Oh, my, this tension wrench is so loose in there. You know what I'm going to do, guys? You know what? That lock is open. Holy shit, it's been open. You dirty son of a gun. You know what it was? It's the tailpiece on the back of here. Oh, I'm not going out of frame. Holy crap, that was a hard lock, guys. Oh, let me get my pinning tray up here, guys. Oh. You know, and it was probably this tensioner holding it here. I'm sorry, it went behind my tension, my wet collar. Let me move all this shit over here, guys. Um, oh my God, am I happy I got that open, guys. 
but it was probably the tension wrench binding in that core, and then this big ass tail piece was hitting on the side of the vise. As soon as I slid the tension wrench out, it, it slid open. Goodness gracious. Oh, I'm look at me shaking. I'm so happy I got that open, guys. Wow, and I hope this is gonna count. <laughs> if it doesn't, I'll repick it, but man, this is a tough lock, guys. When I got it into that deep fall set, I said, you know what, I'm gonna turn this camera on and I'm gonna try and get this thing finished on camera so this way at least you guys see I got it open. Wow, what a tough lock. Big L, that is a monster. Okay. Whew. Oh, wow, am I shaking bad. I can't get the shim all the way in there either, guys. You know what? I'm going to get one of the real thin ones here. Let's try that instead. Whew, I'm shaking so bad I can't even get the shim in there. Well, how, how deep are we in this video? Six minutes. Okay. Whew. Okay. Calm down here, Bill. Man, what a tough lock. I've probably got at least two hours in this lock. Yeah, this one ain't going to go. These, these junky shims, I hate these things. Let me try this one, maybe. Nope, that one's not going to work either. I just pulled a brand new shim down the other day. Okay, that one may go. Okay, that feels a little better. But there's a T-pin right in the middle of this lock because this shim will not go by it. Okay, I'm under it. I'm under them now. All right, let's go for it, guys. Whew. Okay. You know what? I'm going to turn around this way so you can see it coming up. God, I can unmummy that key now, too, and see. I guarantee three is a pin that is way, way, way up there. And it is a six-pinner. I thought it was a five-pin lock always, guys. But it definitely is a six-pinner. Okay. I will definitely re-mummy this key, guys, for Big Al. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this here, and then I'll just take right this thing right back on here after I get this cut. Okay. Oh, man, what a tough lock, guys. Okay. I'm sorry I don't want to go out of frame here, guys. Yep, three is a zero lift pin, and six is a zero lift pin here. You guys can see everything is in and working. If I get the key in there, okay, there we go, guys. Beautiful. Okay, let's get them dumped. Wow. Number one's a serrated, two is a spool, three is a really, really nice serrated, long serrated, and four's a serrated. Uh, let's dump six. Oh, six went over here. I'll get him back. Six is another serrated. Five is a standard, and that was the one I kept over setting earlier. Like I said, just to get me into that false set, it took me 35 minutes, guys. Whew. Let me know who wants this lock next, guys. <laughs> oh, this, like I said, this was a tough one. Okay, in one, we have an awesome serrated, really, really fine serrations. And that spring doesn't want to come out. Oh, there it comes. Okay, copper spring. Oh, I got to tell you about the Bible tool. It's threaded, I see. And I want to look at that core before I... Uh... Yeah, none of these springs are wanting to come out. They all look like copper springs, though, guys. Man, I don't see what was giving me that really deep false set, though, guys. There's both springs. That was in three. That was in, that was in three. Okay, let's go in from the back on the rest of these. Oh, man, I'm shaking so bad. Like I said, I hope this is going to count, guys. Because <laughs> you just didn't see the first part of the pick. But, I, I mean, it was in a full set there. You've seen when I started picking it. That might have been where my deep, deep false set was. Yep. Really nice spool in five. But I felt like it was three that I set. It gave us that open, I thought. Oh, that one jumped out of there. 
That is a drunken spool, and look how I hooked that spring on there. Oh no, that's a two-part pin. I thought it was a drunken spool. Uh, Big Al, you're gonna let me know how that came out. I think it came out this way though. One, two, that was the pin that we set to open this lock for sure. Okay, and it's threaded in six, one, three, four, and six is threaded in the Bible. And then uh, one, three, four, and six in the uh, core is threaded. And then two and five are counter milled, guys. Holy shit. Yep, I can't believe that block was that hard. Okay, let's get just down to the pinning, here, pinning tray here, guys. Oh, man, we only got ooh, four minutes left. Okay, and when we had this awesome serrated, with this serrated above it, copper spring, uh, this bomb spool in, too, with this awesome serrated up above him, another copper spring, uh, and three, this really, really nice long serrated. Big L, that's nice work. With this serrated up above him, another copper spring, and then in four, we had this spooled well serrated two-piece top pin uh driver pin i'm sorry with uh serrated underneath it five we had this standard with this awesome like a step down spool almost copper spring and then in six we had this serrated key pin with this awesome serrated up above it just beautiful big out very nice pins I'm going to set the phone up right here, guys, and see if I can zoom on those. I'm not sure how to do this. <laughs> I don't want to lose the video. I don't know how to do it, guys. I'm sorry. But there's the pins out of that lock, guys. I gave you my word I would get that lock open. It's open. And like I said, let me know who wants it next. If anybody wants to give this lock a try next, guys, uh, I'll send it anywhere. It don't make a difference. But Big L, very nice job. Everyone else, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support, guys. Have a great Memorial Day. And good night, everyone. Thank yous.